You know, sometimes it's a good thing, but sometimes it's a bad thing. You know what it is? What's that? Getting really hyper-focused on things that you like. Oh, like tunnel vision? Yeah. Like, the results of everything in this podcast was hyper-focused from us. The the reason why the whole set turned into 3D overnight is because basically we, like, did this for 24-7 for a couple months. But... Yeah, then uh, other tunnel vision started coming in. And tunnel then, vision is insane because yeah. it makes the world around you basically invisible. And then you realize you haven't talked to anybody or in done like anything else a week yeah. or so. And I'm really bad with that, especially because I have ADHD. And I, I don't know if you have it, but you definitely have... I feel like you should be tested at the very least. Listen, most people think of things this way. If I see a project will take 40 hours, a lot of people will think, oh, that'll take me a week. Huh. Me? I'm like, oh, How fast can I you get could do that, that in like done. three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I just don't uh, eat or sleep or bathe or have human contact. And then I could take contact. two days off. <laughs> yeah pretty yeah. much and then instead of two days it's like a month because you have burnout yeah no it's two days of like recovery not two days off yeah, yeah and then the burnout yeah. guys hyper focus and then burnout it's so hard to find a balance it's why sometimes it. we miss episodes is because yeah, genuinely we refuse to do th- things I don't know there's just something soulless about making like the Forcing entire it. podcast in advance and then posting it. It's not that there's anything wrong with that, but what with what we do, we just ramble. It's like, are we going to ramble for like four hours in one day and then cut it up for a month? That just seems... Yeah, we literally record these the day we post them. Yeah. And for the most part. It's not even really by specifically design. It's just because that's just how it works out. It's just we have a new topic in a couple okay, days, we'll think, we of a couple, we'll think of a couple. We'll think of a new one. Yeah, I don't know. And then we don't have like a topic, and then we feel like, what are we gonna talk about? It's it's because we hyper focus on things that have nothing to do with the topic. So there's like this pitfall with podcasting where people do too broad of subjects, and we're trying not to fall into that pitfall. But our interests are so broad, and we get so hyper focused. Yeah. It's hard to like detach that from this whole format but like what we're going through is what we're going to end up talking about yeah because it's just this is literally what our, our podcast is essentially all that's going on up in our brains and in our lives yeah for the most part how things are like initially we wanted right it just to be like oh a podcast where we talk about work and like what we're working on and then we realized like people just want to hear us talk about whatever and so for some reason, we're just I don't know the 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 episodes haven't really been themed in unless they're like, ha ha, we're looking at funny. Yeah, I've had funny things or on like Etsy. something uh, piqued our interest. Yeah, like the day before or right. the day of. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much shit like that. That's how we figure out our topics. And Yeah. Now we are listening to a podcast about a podcast explaining itself. <laughs> uh, My see, face. This is what happens when you tunnel vision too My hard. My face. You just start like putting things back into itself. It's like crappy AI. You put crappy AI back into crappy AI and it comes out with like That's what another AI is turning mutant. into. Yeah. Basically... If you guys are scared of Chat GPT, like it's getting stupid, getting smarter, it's gonna, it's, it's because only of us. gonna get dumber from here because, it, because they basically dumb. fed it all of the information humans have ever made, including misinformation. Yeah. And, and then its own misinformation. It doesn't know the difference between the two yet. It's no. gonna take some time. And then when it does, it's not gonna just make up new information or it, it's not gonna feed itself data and come up with re- like reliable results. It's just going to come into more and more shit. And then <laughs> we're just going to have worse and worse versions of it. I'm telling you, it's not That's going to get better. That's kind of what's happening. Better. My fear 
it's not like a super genuine fear. It's just like a thought like we've already peaked, basically. And all these like ideas that we have of sci fi things is the equivalent of like how when they made the Jetsons, they thought we were going to have flying cars in the year 2000 and like have cities up in the air. I feel like all of our sci fi ideas are actually just like, no, nah, I think we, I think we just did as much as we could. I think I that's it. I don't think we peaked. I think we are at a peak point. Scary but to think. I think things will probably, I don't know. But like, do we want it to get more advanced? Do we want could, that? could, could literally inevitably go up indefinitely. Like it will just go I up. There, so. there is no limit other than imagination. So it's not that the sci-fi has peaked. It's just, we need a new like brain wave of crazy sci-fi. And I don't and want then, none of that black mirror shit because that actually like gives me genuine anxiety. I don't know if it would with my mindset now which, because I'm like, a little bit ones? different. Just the really like where that dude was in like a horror game for like a second and then he died from it. But it was like the whole episode he was in a horror game. Oh yeah, I forgot. But it literally was only like a second. Yeah. And then you got those like, you know, really wholesome ones where you're old and you're like up in some like cloud. But like, I don't know if I want that either. <laughs> I don't know what I really want. I don't know what I yeah. want. Listen, what you don't. I'm scared <clears throat> and just... also just accepting of the fate as it is. What the best thing to do is to not fight <sighs> nature, but be infatuated by technology. Nature. We need more nature. You know, like, you, you bring up a good point. Don't fight like what is natural you're gonna die one day and you're gonna become yeah. the earth again yeah so you might as well Return just spend earth. your life doing something other than fighting the inevitable because yeah sure what if you are the one to crack the code you're i don't know like you're gambling because no one else has figured it out yeah it's still like a gamble and if you figure it out Who's to say that you get to live like people aren't going to kill you and take your oh. technology and Wait, do something what? nefarious with it? They're just going to. Yeah, you cure death and nobody's interested. <laughs> oh. I mean, come on. Like you're going to get you have basically your life starts when you cure death. You're going to have like a whole slew of like, people that just seems, coming for you. That seems scary to me. Yeah. I wish I could go back to when I was like blissfully unaware of everything like reality when you're a kid you just want to like believe in santa for all your life pretty much you want to be the <laughs> you know age I mean? where you don't know where food comes from you yeah. don't know where like movies come from yeah they just show up at the house yeah the where you believe that if you pray hard enough you too can become sailor moon god please make me fly yeah <laughs> literally literally guys when i was really little and i i'm pretty sure i've told you dalton probably I, that i i used to pray that i could become sailor moon <laughs> yeah i think so i just felt that if i really believed it hard enough, and i cried i remember praying and crying please, please <laughs> i'm sailor so passionate moon. about this god why <laughs> can't you just give it to me <laughs> <laughs> I believed that that's how it would work. <laughs> that if you really wished on something enough, praying, wishing, I don't pray really anymore, but I'll wish. I'll still wish on things. Like 11 11, I'll make a wish. I don't even know why. It's the, uh, what is that called? Uh, I don't even know what the reason is. My mom got really into 11 11s and 11s in general because she was born on an 11. Superstitious. But that's what is it that is. Is that it? Superstitious? Yeah. I still knock on wood. I think I talked about that last time. I'll still knock on wood. I'm superstitious. I still believe in ghosts, but like at the same time in my head, I'm like, but how can I possibly actually believe that? There's two <laughs> wolves inside of me. Oh and I told gosh. this to Dalton the other day. There's just two wolves inside of me. One that just wants to believe and it has big, watery, blobby eyes. And then the other one that's like, Shut the fuck up. What's wrong with you? Consumes and like slaps everything. me 
and ha- yeah, it's consumed everything. It's been jaded. It's salty. Life fucking sucks. There's just two of those wolves in me. And that the, sounds bipolar. And then there's me. And then there's me in the Tri-polar? middle. There's there's the two wolves. Yeah, you see, because the wolves are inside of me. And then there's me, the me that's observing the wolves, right? Mm-hmm. That's what it feels like to me. I see. So you got the angels. Oh, I guess. I guess I do have the angels. Huh? That's the angel a really the devil. good idea. You should go for it. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. That sounds like you get someone hurt. Oh, boy. The consciousness. Yeah. The, the devil's on the shoulder, which have become the two wolves inside of you, which is a meme. <laughs> but oh it's true. God. Well, see, my mind is just a bunch of people throwing papers. Like SpongeBob? The yeah. SpongeBob? Yeah, I get that. I definitely get that. The but then there's Sponge like Bobs the calm person at, in the, at like the head of it. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, there's papers flying everywhere. Yep. Yeah, it's not supposed to look like this. You're right. Are they calm or are they disassociating? Um. Oh no, they're just it's just unorganized chaos. It's just unorganized. are they okay with it or are they just like uh, this is fine? Like only one person d- understands all of the organized chaos, but everyone just kind of understands their section of the chaos. Now, is that you or is that just one of the users? That's in your my head? entire brain. I'm, That's the whole. So the whole brain. Is basically like the GLaDOS. Yeah, and then then I got the little minions that are subconscious, just processing little little, turrets and Peabody and what's his name. Yep, yep, just like a video game. Honestly, that's how I have to. I have to like imagine things in terms of like video games and. Yep, my brain is SpongeBob, and and my (laughs) and my the rest of my mind is Portal (laughs) Two. Yes, you are totally right, Emmy. My brain is SpongeBob and Portal 2. Hey, look, the speed drawing just came up. Perfect timing, Bob. Nice of you to join us. You mean the same one that keeps showing over and over because we only have like three to two speed drawings? Yeah, we need to add more stuff to the set. I guess so. The animated logo looks nice, at least. It just bounced. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys noticed that yet? The little animated logo in the center? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think about that? Made it in flash. So what two franchises is Emmy? Huh? I'm SpongeBob in Portal <laughs> 2. I'm sorry. What are you, Emmy? I would be Pikmin. My my little brain emotions and are Skibbity Pikmin and Toilet. Inside. Definitely not Skibbity. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. Some there is oh. a there is a hint of brain rot. Yeah, absolutely. That's the worm. It's not a fucking skibbity toilet. Oh, I know. My brain is Chow and Pikmin. So I'm SpongeBob in Portal 2. Yeah. And you get to... No. You get, <laughs> yeah, I, I get, get to, to pick to. yours. Oh, no, you, you get to pick mine. mine. I don't know. You okay, picked well, mine. if I got to pick mine, it would be Pikmin. Little Pikmin to represent the emotions. And they'd be going crazy and catching on fire and shit. And and also Chow, which are like baby babbling goo goo, but also can be evil if they choose to be. Flappy bird and skibbity toilet. What? That's you. Explain it. Explain it now. Because you're tunnel visioned and you, yeah, you can only do one thing at a time like flappy bird, but you're also brain rot. There you go. But I don't, I've never even watched skibbity toilet. And I just know kids say it. You can't just. I just know kids. You've say at least, it. okay. You've at least watched and enjoyed SpongeBob and played and enjoyed Portal. You're just forcing Skibbity Toilet on me. <laughs> That's not even fair. <laughs> That's funny. Redo. <laughs> huh? Okay. Uh, and give me a real analysis. I want you to actually, I would love if you actually brain picked me and like psychoanalyzed me and told me things about me that you thought about me because you don't actually say those things. And then I would know that what you think about me. Damn. What does that mean? Guys, I'm a person that relies on um, validation, verbal validation. So psychoanalyze me, open up my head, crack me like a nut. Okay. Eat the. Oh eat my the- God. There's a worm attached to a brain. What? No, it's a walnut. 
Oh my gosh, it's like a pregnant worm. Oh, what the? What the hell is going on in here? What? Huh? You are the worm. What? Hold uh -oh. on. I was the worm all along. You were along. the worm the whole time. So you can't blame anything on the worm. Yes, I can. What? You're trying to say your body isn't the worm? So you're the worm. No, I'm not the worm. You're the worm. I'm not the worm. Yeah, that's what we just confirmed. You told me to crack you like a nut. I told you to crack me like a nut. And psychoanalyze you. Yeah. And I saw a pregnant worm. And <laughs> you saw a pregnant worm? Yeah. So it's going to come right back to this conversation. Why do you guys watch this? Yeah, so we definitely have ADHD. Well, yeah. I I was literally diagnosed with ADHD in high school because I fucked up all my math classes and... I've been saving bugs out of the pool. Uh, they're little, mostly just grasshoppers. But I hold, I like scoop them out of the water and then I hold them. And I saw one that had like its its little antennas all curled up underneath its body. And while I held it, it just like, it cleaned them. And then they slowly like went back to point it out. It was really cute. I really love to hold little bugs and I'd like to keep a bug someday. But their life would be so much better out in the open world. So... And then she's and like, just look, it. and then puts in the trajectory to <laughs> jump on me. It wasn't going to jump on you, though. Okay, but I, I know. They're so oh cute. I used to get crickets for my frog. No. So I know how they jump around. That's right, you had a frog. Yeah. Oh, no. That'd be like a dilemma. For he liked crickets. I like, I like animals. I like all the animals too much. He That's thought crickets were delicious. Mm, crunchy. Yeah. It's a circle of life, I know. Oh my, the, the crickets would chirp, and I'd be like, dude, eat that fucker. Oh my God. Eat him. And then he eats him, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> he's so annoying. You were <laughs> hyping your little frog up. Because of, oh my God, the crickets, th when they're <laughs> in like a little enclosure in your room, they sound yeah. so different than outside. Cool. You hear like the individual, like, you know, they just like rub their legs together. Yeah. It's like they're how they make the sound is they're like rubbing so like cool. these like little things together. Well, you can hear the individual ones rubbing together. <gasps> cool. In the room. That's so cool. Oh, no, it wasn't cool. It was the most no? annoying thing ever. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, that sounds because an individual one you, you find doesn't really have like a consistent sound to it. It actually goes like, eh, eh. <laughs> but like when they're all going off at once, you just it just sounds like you just drop them into a death chamber. Yeah. Well, it Damn. was a frog. It it literally took days to eat them all. I mean, maybe even weeks. If, it's good for them how to many hunt. Put in there. Animals in captivity still need to be able to hunt. <laughs> I think I only have one picture of this frog. Just and one. I, yeah, because it was. Were you little? It wasn't one that I like handled a lot because it jumped and well, I really didn't want do. it to just jump somewhere and I lose it. So the oh. only picture I have of it is through the glass of its enclosure and it was foggy that day in the <laughs> in there. And so it's like Did you clean out its cage and stuff? Was I it like dirt? I don't remember. But I know he had I'd a imagine lot of rocks. it'd be dirt. I don't remember. Yeah, they need like a specific set of things, things that they can bask in, things that they can take shade in, things that they can sleep by. You also don't want to um, disrupt their ecosystem like too much. That's why I kind of have a lot of conflicting feelings about pets like that. Like hamsters, the way that we treat hamsters and bunnies and reptiles and all sorts of animals, fish, I feel like we treat them poorly, but... To be fair, we treat a lot of animals poorly, no matter what. We treat humans poorly. <laughs> yeah, we treat ourselves poorly. <sighs> it's yeah. like we we Silly. eat like low grade food and go, mm, it's delicious. Mm, but and then like we feed it to our Mush. animals, and they're like, mm, that's better than anything I've ever had. And it's just like, yeah, we're all eating low to, oh, low I grade have that shit. Honestly. Conundrum because like with Lily. I think about dogs and it's like, wow, they're going to go their whole life just like having to eat dog food. Like if you had to go your whole life eating one type of food, it would fucking suck. So we treat her a lot. Not a lot. Okay. We don't treat her a lot, but we do get her like. She eats a decent we, amount of human food. That's not seasoned. We try to uh, like. Well, obviously, like we look up all the things that you should and shouldn't yeah. give to a dog. We're very informed on that stuff. But. Like real At the same chicken, time, real beef. She also ends up like avoiding her actual food sometimes, which she I will know. end up eating like late at night. 
when she realizes there's no more possible opportunity for something yummy. It's her sustenance bowl. When she <laughs> needs sustenance. something, she'll eat that. We call it her munchy crunch at night. <laughs> yeah, she only eat. I have not seen her eat in the daytime in a long time. Unless she feels threatened by another animal coming to steal her food. Yeah, which then they she want. tries to hide it all in her stomach. I love when animals try to hide things with nothing. Yeah, she'll like poke her nose outside the bowl and then like... As if she's burying it. Yeah. You know? You'll see cats do that, try to bury something they think smells like literal feces <laughs> with like air. You know, my f- it's favorite... It's just insulting. <laughs> my favorite way to mess with her when another animal comes in the room and she runs for her food bowl and starts eating it. <laughs> I just fill it. You just fill it again? <laughs> I fill it to the top. <laughs> Why? Because she's an open eater, so she's not the type of dog that's like just gonna eat everything in sight. Like we said, yeah. she only eats at night and she eats like just as much as she wants. Yeah, she's that she does type not of overeat. Delicate like, little eater. Some dogs, but, like, you have to control oh, yeah. when they eat because they will eat. They will finish a lot their of big food dogs every time like you that. feed them. Yeah. It makes sense for a little dog to just eat about as much as they yeah, want. Yeah, like we tried to feed her at certain times and she just like Nighttime stops eating just halfway like through. Her favorite time to eat ever since we adopted her. Yeah. She just, that must have been when she felt safest too. Yeah. That's what I always think. There's a lot of mannerisms that she has that probably came from where she grew up because we didn't yeah. have her as a puppy puppy. Just a puppy. Yeah, she was very young when we got her. She looked young in the face. They said she was two. I don't know if I believe that. I think she was younger, but... She looked... We have pictures of her. I think they just didn't care. As They're itty like, bitty. How old is she? I don't know, two? <laughs> I, I really think... Because she could have been a year old. I, I they also said that. she really hated cats, and that's not true either. She just, she tolerates she them, but she doesn't like them. is annoyed by anything that has, like... A big tail. Energy near her. That, too. She basically just doesn't like <laughs> anybody that's too much in her face. Unless yeah. it's us. Because yeah. she loves to be snuggled and kissed. Yeah. We have a fluffy cat, and she will You're try and rub cat. up against Lily, and then Lily will go, like... Mm. Ooh, Ew, like get like startled oh. by her Ew. fur. God. But she's like really fluffy. I don't know why. Lily... I think Lily would love it, but she just doesn't trust a lot of animals. Yeah. It takes a long time to earn her trust. Oh, yeah. But when you do. You'll know. You got it. Oh, you'll know. <laughs> she treats Dalton's dad differently. And I'm almost jealous about it. The way she like talks to him. Yeah. She like will like bark I talk. Don't know. Yeah, she will never. Woo! Talk she like to us screams like that. even. Yeah, how, how does she talk to us? Oh, oh! She Lily comes cries. over to us and she's like, mm. "Yeah, it's so annoying. Mm. Why can't she go <laughs> it's like, like a really oh, whiny oh, whine? Oh, why can't she mm. do that with us? <laughs> she makes like little noises. Ah, oh. she's the cutest. Don't know why. Hey, where is Lily? I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Hey, we're... Hmm? Anyway, guys, we're going to go look for Lily. We'll see you in the next... We'll see you soon. We'll see you again soon. We'll see you again soon. No, for real. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Watch our shit. No, you won't. Our, our website is going to have more of the episodes, so... No, it won't. Yeah. If you guys want yes, us to help hook you up with that, <laughs> ask us. We have, uh, like, an RSS feed and shit. Yeah, he worked really, really, really fast on that, actually. Yeah. All right, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.